What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you an app review on what I think is probably the coolest application I have on my phone. You know, I've done some app reviews on apps that I think you should have on your phone because they're nice tools, and this is just an app review on something that is, it's just so cool and it's so fun to play with, and you can impress your friends with it, so I think you guys should um, definitely get this app. The app is called Secure It Remote Control. Now, I might be saying that wrong, I'm sorry um, if I am because the spelling's like a, a little strange with the capitalization and then there's the one, the, the use lowercase. So it's S-E-C-U-R-E-T, remote control with no space in between remote or control. Basically what this app does is it is a camera application that controls your camera on your phone remote con like by remote control. I know that sounds confusing, so I'm going to show you visually what it does. But basically, let's say I was um, feeling sneaky and my brother is doing something shady in his room and I want to take a picture of it. So I take my phone and I, let's pretend I'm in his room, I hide my phone on his bed, whatever, stand it up somehow so the camera would be facing him like this and he's over there near the door. I go into another room with another phone. I have my brother's Blackberry here to, um, show you guys how we're going to do this and I text my phone and the text that I send to my phone is going to tell my phone to take a picture of my brother and I can do that and I can take a video of him um, there are a lot of options when you send the information to your phone I can tell my phone to save it to my SD card to save it to my SD card and email it to an email address um, there are a lot of options it's completely customizable so let's get started and show you guys how this works Go onto your phone, unlock it, go into the market, and the best way to search for this guy would be to type in secure it. Um, I said the spelling was a little weird. So S-E-C-U-R-E-T. And this developer has a whole lot of apps. I've checked out some of his other ones. They're very cool. I'll probably be making um, an app review on those as well. But for now, you want to install the one that says Camera SMS Remote. It's by Dublu. Uh, you can also check out his blog. He has a pretty good blog going. Um, he has the paid version, and then he has the free version. The free version um, has less options than the paid version, but it's, it's worth it if you want to give it a try, and then if you like it, I would recommend buying the paid version. So I already have it installed, but this is what you want. The icon is a black circle with a blue, uh, it looks like a little camera, maybe it might be an address book, I can't really tell, but it's secure it remote control so install it and once you do that go find the app I have it right here on the all the way to the left in that second line of applications I'm gonna open it up and here's what we see it says press start and send an SMS to this phone using the following formats this is a confusing app to use which is why I'm making this uh, app review and tutorial but if you wanted to see an example of what you had to say, you click example and it tells you right here, I'm sorry, that's hard to read. To take a photo, save it to the SD card and email it to the blah, 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 blah. Basically, here's what you do. If you want to take a picture and save it to your SD card, you're going to text your phone in all capital letters, the word photo, then space, then the word SD. If you want to have your phone take the picture, save it to your SD card and email it to an email address, you text your phone in all capital letters, photo, space, SD space and then your email address. If you leave the email section blank, it will default to um, the email which you can set in the settings of the application. So you can see right here that at the bottom, all the way to the left, it says settings. I'm going to click on that and then this opens up. I'm going to click on email settings and you can see that I've set my email address and my Gmail address so it will default to those emails. Now, video, same thing. You want to say video in all capital letters, then SD, and then the recording length. Uh, email is definitely more complicated than a picture, but so to start, we're going to show you how to take a picture. So, I'm ready to go. So at the bottom of the screen, when you're ready to have your phone take the picture, you click the middle button, which says start. I'm sorry, my camera's not really focusing right now. You click start. And the camera opens up, and you can see how it's a little laggy, but it's definitely good enough to take a picture. So I'm going to put this camera down right here. I'm going to try and actually, hmm. I'll put it down for now, and I'm going to pick up my brother's BlackBerry, because this is the phone I'm going to use to text my phone. 
Right now I'm in his text log and I'm going to type in all capital letters photo. I'll show you guys this right before I send it. I'm going to put the camera down for one second while I'm texting. Give me a minute here. Photo SD space and then my email address which I'd like the picture to be sent to. And give me one more second here. We are almost ready. At yahoo.com. Okay. So I'm sending that text message to myself. Now I'm going to pick up my phone and show you guys. You're going to see it take a picture of my flyers banner right there. Wait for it. My phone is getting the text. There you go. You heard it take a snapshot. Um, you can't really see on my phone because of the reflection, but it did take a picture. You also see the text from my brother's phone, which says right there, photo SD, mwitkin90 at yahoo.com. That's my Yahoo email. So now everything's done. You can X out of the text message. So I'm going to click the X. I'm going to leave, get out of the app, go back to my home screen. So now, because I texted myself and told, told my phone to save it to the SD card, I want to check to make sure it's on the SD card. So I'm going to go into my camera, then go into gallery. And that's opening up, and there we have it right here. I know I told you guys it was dark and hard to see, but that is, there's the banner right there. And here's the picture I just took of it. It's um, because it is the light version, it is black and white for now, so buy the paid version. And although I probably didn't get the email yet, if I were to check, this is the uh, developer's blog, by the way, you guys should check that out. It's doblue.blogspot.com. There's the spelling right there. Um, I probably didn't get the email yet. Yeah, my inbox is still empty, but I will get the email because I did test this and it does work. So, guys, once again, definitely check this out. Very cool. It's a remote control for your camera. You can take videos and uh, pictures and do it in a very, very, very sneaky manner. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Email us at twoguysonedroid at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and continue to show your support by checking into our blog for other great tutorials and some other app reviews.